Welcome back, Sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today. This is Hero887, your host, welcoming you back to Shadow of Mordor. But not just Shadow of Mordor, no, this is a countdown, day 65. 65 days until October 10th, and you know what happens that day. That's right, Shadow of War, as we see on the photo here, the picture. Shadow of War is coming, and in anticipation of such, we are giving daily... Uh, little tips, little tidbits, little things about Shadow of Wardor that, uh, Shadow of Wardor? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. And today, we're going to be talking about the Tracker. Now, the Tracker is one who seeks you out no matter where you hide, summoning reinforcements to hem you in. Now, if that doesn't sound intimidating, I don't know what is. A Tracker is probably going to show up at the least one at moments when you're trying to kill war chiefs and whatnot. And... I'm just going to say that's probably going to be one of my least favorites because they're going to always be hanging around me. I would probably foresee them even be a nemesis because of that problem. But uh, here's one of the things that they can do, and their ability is called, imagine this, Trapper. A tracker traps. And what could that mean? Could that mean they're setting up some kind of uh, ambush? Could it mean that they are setting up some kind of actual trap to catch you like a bear trap? Leave your comments below on what you think that could be. Speculate with me. Let's have some dialogue. And without further ado, let's get into some gameplay once again. Now we were Talion, the Power of Shadow, the Lord of the Hunt, the Bright Lord, Lithriel, Captain the Watch. And then after I become Dark Ranger in the next episode, I will pick from the comments which of the um, skins you enjoy the most. And we'll stick with that for a little bit until um, you all voice otherwise. If you don't have a preference, I'll just keep changing it up for the fun of it. Captain of the Watch is the one we're choosing today, and continue story mode. Here to join me on my watch. Do not forget that this is daily content. Come back tomorrow for day 64, and yet another tidbit of information on what we can expect in Shadow of War. As a hint, we're going to be talking about the Berserker. So stay tuned, come back for that, this will be great. But in the meantime, think about that tracker. What does it mean? What does that have? That ability. What does it mean? What, what, what abilities does he have that could be called the trapper? Curious, let me know. Now, as we recall from the last episode, we just killed one of the twins. Let's see if we can't go to Sauron's army. We killed one of the twins and Ratbag became the new war chief. Good for him, he's happy with the awesome skull. Karagors, who knows what's got on us. Something going on there. Now, we are going to progress in the storyline. That is the purpose of each of these, to progress through the storyline as quick as possible. And we find ourselves at this tower right at this time. And now over here is... Looks like the Squealer, all right, to defeat the War Chief's bodyguard before confronting him. Or we could find a little side quest. What we're going to do is a side quest today. Figuring out who is the Bright Master. A little story progression today. We've had a lot of war and gore. Now it's time to move on to some story progression. And I'm tempted to go check out some intel, but I don't know. We're kind of close, but kind of not. Let me just set the waypoint and see what we find. If it's too much trouble, I'm not going to do it, but it's literally right there. <clears throat> just asking for me to take him. Seriously, one orc. We're going to get this. And at the same time, we're going to free some slaves up. All right. Give me some intel on some war chiefs. So I believe, is it this guy? Or, I don't know. We're going to unlock here. Barfa Shieldmaster. Looking pretty sweet with his gold and black armor action. Tell me a little bit more about you, Barfa. <laughs> That's a great name. That's a great name. Well, Barfa, excuse me. Vulnerable to mounted beast and fear of burning. Pretty sweet. Fear of burning, have to keep that one in mind. Sorry, you're dead. And Thanks you, plenty, sir, stranger. are free. Yes, you're quite welcome. Quite welcome. Anytime Sean Connery's around, I will save you. All right, let's go find Golem and some shattered memories. Looks like if I just do a hop, a skip, and a jump, I can find myself I over there. A good hunter boy myself. Nothing be seeing one of their spears punching through a head or two. Well, sorry, your dream has been ended. Look at that nasty dude. Thanks, Ranger. Daydreaming about stabbing people in the brains. I Thank mean, you, Ranger. 
He needed to die. He was a sicko. Ah, uh, now less than 100 feet away. Here it is. Right here for the picking. Oh, I remember this one. I think it's a bow and arrow one, if I recall. We're going to find out. Golem, what is? what have you summoned us here for? Smeagol. Sweet little Rexes, where does he die? Desecrate one more body and your corpse will join them. Off we go to find what Golem is dreaming about. He's got bad Spider-Man skills. Look at him. You know, the, the graphics aren't bad for a game that's, uh, what is it now, three years old? <laughs> Must follow us, Bright Master, to the treasures we go. Last we sneaked here, no more. There's too many of us! I don't think so. There's never too many of you. Never! Now there's none of you. Golem, where are you going? Okay, I took care of the problem. Now do take care of the problem. Oh, Archer. Oh, it says kill him with headshots. Okay. There's one. We'll show him. We'll show him. Heard rumors about some trouble in the middle. Sounds like a catch your fish. Should you see the truth? Oh, what? Oh, come on. Okay. That was beautiful. Alright, now where's Golem? There he is. Come on, Golem. Come out of your hiding. I guess we really didn't have to climb up there and kill him that way. We just walked and shot. But... That's the bright master of the world. Rum, small, sweet, like flopping fishes. The flopping fish ranger comes along. Crabby ranger. Small, <laughs> stinky ranger. He oh. hurts us. He steals from us the bargainses. Bargainses. <laughs> it's a great song there, girl. He'll Truly. Show us, then we'll take it. He'll show us, then he steals it. No, no. We'll take it from him. We'll take You know, he's in such a great mood. Sharpest of sharpsies. Sharpest of sharpsies. No hurting, no hurting. Gentle sharpsies. Shows us bright minds. Great job there, golems. Find the artifact. Follow the footsteps. Your friend seems quick to lead us to danger. Knowledge of my past is worth any trial. Wait, what's over there? I think I found it. Here it is. Yep. No. 
Oh, yep, fool. There. What we find? I don't know what we find. There's somebody's headband. This is gonna be a cool scene. Could that be? And who are they looking at? Big Smeagol's hands are. Hey, come here! Oh. Release him. Why do we chase these dreams? They offer no answers, only more questions! These are not mere dreams. With each vision, my power grows stronger. Flash. Oh yeah. I'll do it. There we go. Just gotta tap that Wraith Flash action. Just stinking little nuggets. There's too many of them. Oh no. Too many times they're gonna kill us? Oh, holy snap, how many ghouls are there? Oh man. Dudes, we almost died. But they planned it out pretty much. Perfect. Will betray us to the Black Hand the first chance he gets. He has no love for the Dark Lord. That creature has a part to play in the fate of all Middle Earth. I can feel it. And how right you are, Caleb Brimball. All right, let's mark the territory over here at this big tower, and we're gonna climb the sucker and get ourselves another landmark. Those ghouls talk about scary. We almost didn't come out of that one alive. But we did! Thanks to the new ability called the Wraith Flash. And here we go! Smack that with a hammer! Which, by the way, now we know the hammer where it came from. It's Citadel to the light against the shadow. The hammer came from that mysterious dude. You know, we're a lot closer to this one. And we have a little confrontation. Let's do confrontation in the next six or so minutes we have here of gameplay. We'll do a little side quest to level up, power up. Which, by the way, I did promise we would do so in the previous episode. And I will plan to make good on that promise. Now, what we're going to do is have to take out a couple of these groupies. Oh, of course, not in right range here. Now run, run and grab him. Oh, oh 
Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yes! I can't believe that worked. Okay, so... Problem is, we don't know who's who, so we're gonna go ahead and just pick off this guy. <laughs> He's a goofy goober. And, uh, Saxonite his head off. And now we're gonna go run. Karagor! Just, just try to run this. And, there we go. Horse of the Maniac. So, Horz is going to give us some ability points. Um, there he is, and he's got a lot of fellow berserkers. He's looking pretty tough, dudes. Oh, man. And the problem is we don't have any intel on this dude. So, I'd love to get some intel. Oh, never mind. We do. We do. Vulnerable to range. And combat finishers. Otherwise, um, that's it. So this is going to be an interesting battle. But you know what? I forgot we had the secret weapon. And that is... Do you see on the bottom left corner the sword ability? I totally forgot I've not been using this. I should definitely be using it. And we have tier 2 unlocked, so it's very handy. One thing I definitely want to have is the pin in place. Stealth drain might be nice. Um, throwing daggers, not so much. I'm not much big into that. L critical strike. Okay, not bad. Helps move things up. Running out of time. And what's going to help us in this battle the most? Really nothing at this point. So, I think maybe that, maybe that pin in place ability. Uh, what I'd like to do is activate my, um weapon ability the rising storm and I'm just not sure how to do that I think I have to press right on the thumbstick oh he's invulnerable I forgot about that but it did hurt him if I can just kill you before all your minions come at you that would be nice there we go. A lot of minions here. Um, no, it's not left thumbstick, and it's not right thumbstick. I'm not really quite sure which thumbstick it is. If any. Whoa, in my face. In your face, you know. In your face, and that didn't kill you either. There, that one got you. Took out a couple of your buddies and pals there, buddy. And now with you, and now with you, War Captain. Shank, 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 shank. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see his friend there, but I shanked him to death. Mission success. Hey! 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 Okay, now he's done. Okay. Oh my goodness. So, four elf shot at combat brand, which we don't even have that ability yet. But there we have it, dudes and, and, and uh, dudettes. Uh, a little bit of fun freedom fighting moments. And let's go ahead and collect this artifact. And we'll call that an episode. Little awesome lore we discovered in this episode. I hope you've enjoyed the little lore episode. We found a little bit more about Kettle of Brimbor, which is his name, which we'll find. Nice big book here. And um, I have to say, it's very exciting to learn about lore because I'm a fan of Lord of the Rings. If you the are, I'd love to, to hear it. To Leave a comment below not Gondor, only about who the, um, the tracker is as long as and what you think about the tracker and what the trapper ability might do. But furthermore, comment on if you have a favorite book of the series, whether that's movie, books, whatever, of the Tolkien. I mean, there's anything from the Cimmerillion to all the three Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, which of course has been the most recent rendition um, in theaters and cinematic awesomeness. Do comment below one of your favorite movies or books of J.R.R. Tolkien. And leave a comment again of who you think the tracker is. And in the next episode, as I mentioned before, we'll be taking a look at the Berserker and who he is and what that's all about. 
So stay tuned because we're bringing you, or I should say I'm bringing, who's we? I'm bringing you daily Shadow of Mordor content in anticipation of Shadow of War. We're down to 66 days, only 66 days, and we're going to be there. I know it's a long way still. So hit that like button, subscribe, add me to this playlist. This is a playlist. Check the description below to do so, and that'd be awesome. Share and do all that awesome stuff. All right, this is Hero87, your host, signing off. Later, sidekicks.